Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's January 19th, 2021, and today what I thought I'd do is share a few thoughts on our new uh, Kubota tractor. Uh, to give you a little bit of history, uh, this last summer in 2021, Thea and I uh, decided, or in the spring rather, decided to sell Optimus Prime, which was our Case 995, which did a lot of front-end loader work around the property. And we decided to sell the winter operating tractor, which was the Mahindra with the front end uh, Lorenz snowblower on it. And because we um, foresaw the potential increase and the uh, difficulty getting new pieces of equipment, first thing we did in the spring, we drove down to Palmyra, New York to place an order for the uh, Grand L6060. Uh, with an enclosed cab and that's what you're seeing on the video right now uh, we didn't because of the delay with uh, getting parts and getting uh, tractors and various heavy equipment and all as everybody's been aware of it really uh, took quite some time we didn't get the uh, Grand L6060 delivered until just before the the first snowfall this fall and um, so I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes just talking a little bit about it. I've had it out. Now, this winter has been a, a quite a mild winter so far. Uh, in other words, we haven't had, I haven't had to have the snowshoes on, on in the last three years or the last two years and so far this year as well. Um, so this particular tractor is the Grand L6060. Um, a few specs on it. It's a 62 horsepower four-cylinder Kubota uh, engine and that's a 46.3 kilowatt. Uh, the net power is 60 horsepower to, uh, to the wheels and 53 horsepower to the PTOs. Uh, that's 44.8 for the to the wheels and 39.5 to the PTOs. There is a rear PTO for uh, mounting our uh, implements that mount on the three-point hitch and there's um, uh, a center uh, PTO that for mounting uh, the front end snowblower. Now in the underneath this this tractor um, there is a um, an automatic four-point hitch and uh, this really just operate this mounts with two large pins and then hooking up the hydraulics and a small electrical uh, coupler and that allows me to easily uh, attach and detach pieces of equipment like the uh, the snowblower that you see on the front of the tractor the, the snowblower in the front of the tractor is an l4479 74 inch utility blower uh, made in canada uh, it does have the full uh, hydraulic swivel for the chute and the deflection as well, full hydraulics from inside the cab. <coughs> and on this tractor, there's uh, R4 uh, tires all around on it, and uh, the, the, there's no liquid or wheel weights on this tractor, as you can see. Behind the tractor, there is a, uh, a large ballast that's appropriate for this. Now, we did have some icy conditions underneath the driveway here, so there's a lot of ice there, but I don't lose any traction. I didn't know if I'd have to add some chains to these uh, rear tires or not, but it, it, so far, this has been perfect. This is the third day that I've had the, uh, this tractor out. One of the things that's so fantastic about this tractor is the large cab with all the glass and all the, the doors open from both sides, the, the rear window opens as well. Uh, there's plenty of visibility. Uh, you can see down low. You can't really see uh, in the video itself, but there's two large mirrors, one on each side uh, of the tractor so I can easily see where I'm backing up. I have purchased a rear view camera for this, which I will install in the spring. I've, I've also uh, purchased some wraparound uh, LED lighting as well. Uh, the power of the chute on this is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, it puts the snow exactly where I want it, which is really good in, a, um, in an area of the country where we get so much snow each year. Uh, that's really important for us to be able to uh, be able to put the snow where we want it because for years before having a uh, snowblower attached uh, mounts on our tractors uh, I'd end up using the front end loader and there'd be big banks on the sides and being in a high wind zone and a high snow zone well I could be, be spending 8 to 11 hours uh, with a significant snowfall where I it takes me about an hour and a half maybe two hours uh, maybe two hours with a heavy snowfall. We've got about one foot of heavy thick snow. The, con the consistency of this snow is almost like sand. It's pretty darn heavy. Unlike some of our snows, falls at times are quite light. Um, it works extremely well. The, uh, I did get the oversized um, alternator on this so that I could run a rear windshield wiper as well as running additional lighting and uh, also running a, a rear defroster uh, as well. So those things I think uh, work out very well so it keeps the glass really clear. It does take a little while for this tractor to warm up but uh, but it runs cool and it, and it runs very, very well. Uh, the hydraulics inside uh, the tractor are really easy. I did also have them uh, install uh, two um, accessory rear hydraulics as well. So those are there for attachments off the three-point hitch uh, in the future. Uh, so this is really just the third time that I've had the tractor out at all and so far it's absolutely fantastic. Because we, we've done so much work and stirring up the, the soil in some of the locations over by the work area and by the coop, uh, I, there, there was one large rock about six inches by eight inches that got, um, that got picked up and it did shear both the um, the impeller that, that blows the, uh, the snow out the chute, is, uh, it did shear that uh, bolt and it sheared the bolt that, uh, that operates the, um, the impellers themselves or the main impeller. I was concerned with this being a single auger uh, initially, would it work as well as my, uh, as my Lorenz blower, but it works extremely well. The power is fantastic. It shoots the snow exactly where I want it to go. Uh, and even with the high snow, uh, being able to direct it so quickly and easily from inside, it's really nice uh, system. You'll see that I pick up quite a bit of dirt at times. You'll see the color of the snow coming out of the chute uh, turning quite dark at times. So I'm going out back now, so this road is pretty rough out here. Uh, directing the chutes so that I don't hit, uh, you know, put put snow inside of the buildings or uh, in locations that I don't want it. I, I, with the automatic chute being inside inside of a comfortable cab, and I've got to say uh, this cab is absolutely excellent, not just with the visibility but with the sound deadening uh, quality, uh, the room to move around. Uh, all of those things are really super nice when you haven't had something like this before. And again, the Grand L60 uh, series, and they come in several different sizes from uh, the Grand L3560, the 4060, the 4760, the 5060, the 5460, and I opted for the L6060. And you can get these without the cab. Uh, these are hydrostatic uh, transmissions, uh, three uh, low, medium, and high main gears, and then it's a hydrostatic drive plus a, a high and low um, uh, ranges of all of those. So you really have six forward and six uh, reverse uh, speeds that you can go and with this uh, fancy hy hydrostatic transmission uh, it, you can drive it just like you drive a car down the road as well. Um,
by flipping the, uh, the seat forward, we can run PTO implements like our wood chipper that we got in this fall. So I'm pretty excited about being able to, uh, to chip up some large uh, size material. We'll go over that in the future. And uh, so, so far, this, this machine has been absolutely a delight to have. Um, what other attachments? I can't think of any other attachments that I've, that I've purchased for this so far. Um, and if you have any comments or questions about the tractor, I'm sure I'll go over this much more just on the other side of the aviary, the small building in front of us, is the uh, front end loader. Uh, for this. So the reason that I went all out to get this very nice cab and all and and the easy quick attach um, uh, four point hitch for that that's a mid mount system and the, for the snowblower on the front of this is because you know I'm doing these things by myself uh, attaching and detaching pieces of equipment and it just makes more sense for me to be able to to get this equipment um, on and off easily without a lot of effort. Just need to have a nice level place to be able to detach the front end loader and move equipment around. So that's about it with uh, having a look at our uh, front mounted snowblower on the L6060. It's quite a piece of equipment. Uh, I, we purchased in Palmyra, New York, not Elmira, Palmyra, New York from Blazy uh, Tractors. Really, really super nice family there and uh, very happy with the uh, customer service and the whole experience. So you folks take care and stay healthy and uh, enjoy this winter. Bye-bye now.